Hey guys, in this video we have some work from home jobs hiring at a company called LiveWorld.com. This is a place where sometimes you can find these social media moderation type jobs, which I know a lot of people like these types of jobs because they're fairly easy and they don't require you to talk to customers over the phone. And a lot of times they don't require much in terms of requirements to apply as far as qualifications. So if you go to LiveWorld.com, you can just go to their career section here and right now they have something called a social media agent available now if you sh if you see this section here it basically tells you that you're going to do some customer service engagement for marketing adverse events management protection of brand image agent provides a great experience for a brands customers in their online venues his position is hourly part-time work at home and requires some flexibility. So if you feel like that is something you can handle, then you can just click the sign here and see what they have available. So for this job, it's a combination of moderation, customer service, kind of like a chat support type of thing. So you'll be basically chatting and also managing online communities. So you might have to remove some spam, you might have to a deal with people who may, be, may not be following certain rules. You might have to escalate some things, include rejecting or approving content, things like that. So as far as what you're doing, that's kind of what it is. It's a combination of community management, moderation, and chat support. So if you want something and you're more introverted, maybe you don't want to be on the phone with people all the time, this would be a great one to start with. So required skills and traits. I know the, the formatting of this job post is a little odd. So you'll just have to kind of bear with me, but I'll kind of section it off for you. The ability to connect with people and communicate in courteous conversational style while making decisions according to guidelines. And the ability to compose well-written messages with use of good grammar and appropriate punctuation strong keyboard skills, ability to navigate between multiple systems or applications simultaneously, demonstrated personal or professional success engaging in a social channel. And then they have this section, which is recommended education and experience. So minimum 18 years of age required, two to three years experience in online moderation and engagement and or online customer service is desirable. So when they say desirable, what that usually tells me just from doing this for years and seeing thousands of job application pages, this usually means that it's preferred but not required. So even if you don't have experience in online moderation and engagement and or customer service, I would still apply for this if you feel like you have the skills to do it. Um, or maybe you have some experience in other things that you think could translate, even though it's not directly correlated. I think you wish you should still apply. Uh, some experience in a call center environment is helpful. So they use words like desirable, helpful, preferred but not required, things like that. So it's hard to say for sure if you have to have experience. Obviously, most companies will ask you regardless, but I think you could still get this job without experience, but that's just kind of a gut feeling from the way they word this. Uh, work at home experience, helpful and social media moderation and engagement experience preferred but not required, um, healthcare background desirable but not required, experience with social media tools such as Live World, Salesforce, Sprinkler, Koros, or similar tools desirable, college degree or equivalent experience preferred, and environmental and technical requirements, so this is like the next section here, um, dependable high-speed internet access, dependable telephone access, landline preferred for training, ability to work in a quiet, secure home office atmosphere. Work must be performed on a desktop or laptop. So I know some of you only have a mobile phone and this is not a job that's feasible for that situation. Also, they mention language fluency requirements. Now, mainly they just want you to be fluent in English. Some positions involve fluency in reading and writing in other languages but language fluency testing and writing samples are a requirement for all hourly positions, English for all positions and specific languages for some. So Live World defines fluency as complete competency and reading, writing and speaking at a native or near native level. 
Now, they're recruiting U.S. residents right now with fluency in the following language. So if you're fluent in English, you notice that that's one of the options here. You don't have to necessarily know other languages. They're not requiring you to be multilingual. But if you know some of the other languages, you can still apply for this. Um, and they have lots of languages listed here. Um, also, you can enjoy some of these perks here. So this is kind of the next section here. Work at home, flexible scheduling, dynamic environment and fast paced social industry, opportunity to learn new skills and further develop existing skills, opportunity to learn within healthcare and non-healthcare industries. And then typically you can, hire, you can get hired from the US or outside the US, but for this one, they tell you right here, they are not currently recruiting non-US applicants. So unfortunately, if you're outside the US, you're out of luck for this particular position. But if you are in the US, I think this could be a great job to check out right now, especially if you're looking for something part-time that's fairly easy. And again, you can go to liveworld.com slash careers to find it. As far as what it's like to work at Live World, obviously I like to see some information about the company when I recommend jobs, unless it's a very new company. But this one's been around for a while. Now we have a few different people who have disclosed how much they made. So I mentioned in the thumbnail of this video that this can pay up to $34 per hour. The reason I said that is because when I narrow it down to hourly rate, we have 16 people who submitted salaries as a, as a moderator, which is what this job is, and they averaged around $34 per hour. Now, a social media moderator, we had 12 people submit salaries and say they averaged $23 per hour. But then we also had an agent five people submitted salaries and averaged $45 per hour. So it's a little bit all over the place. But if you kind of just average these out, you're still looking at around $30 to $34 an hour. And the one with the most salary submitted is the one that's right in the middle of those three. Now, as far as some of the others, you see, you know, $20, $25, $30 an hour for other ones, but they don't have as much, as many people that left feedback. So I'm just going based off of what other people have said that they made at this job. It's not entirely clear how much you'll make, but should be in that general ballpark. 3.1 out of five stars, 48% recommend working here to a friend. So I would say fairly average reviews in terms of the overall experience working here. I don't think you're getting any benefits here. So I'm gonna skip that section for now uh, because this is a part-time position and I don't, think that you're usually going to get many benefits. They didn't really mention much when they were talking about benefits on this page anyway. So when you go here and you look at, you know, join our live world team and enjoy, that's normally where they would put benefits and they really didn't mention much right there. So as far as difficulty to get a job here, that's a positive sign, 1.7 out of five average. So that's a below average difficulty to get a job here. I would say that's pretty easy experience. 67% of people, which is the vast majority, had a positive experience interviewing here. That's also a good sign. So the interview process seems to be pretty good here. Now, if you're wondering what you might get asked, obviously, I like to see if I can find a few interview questions for jobs, if there is going to be an interview. And we see a little bit of feedback here, mostly for moderator related jobs. So one person was asked about previous jobs, language proficiency and things like that. Another person said, or they were asked, how did you grow the account's followers and reach your target demographic? Have you ever worked with paid ad campaigns? Do you work well in a remote environment? Um, that is a different job. So some of those are not going to apply for this. You have sales, that's not going to apply. Moder moderation, I guess is what someone was trying to put there. This one said they honestly can't remember, so that's not very helpful. Content moderator, this one said, describe a time you had to deal with a difficult customer and how did you resolve the situation? This one said, how do you feel about working for $7.50 an hour? This was probably a worldwide position, I would guess. I don't know what, where that comes from because if you look at the average of salaries, they're a lot higher paying. So. I don't know if that was outside of the US, I and mean, that was also a very long time ago in 2014, so I wouldn't get too alarmed about that. Also, you have just a few others. That, that one didn't really post any questions. Um, this one said, no difficult questions, but just be honest and be yourself. And 
basically they enjoy the interview process. This one said they were asked about range of personal interest to writing experience, previous job experience, and how previous experience would benefit in this position. This person said, they asked me how much I would expect to earn. So it looks like the pay could actually be negotiable as well. So like I said, don't be too alarmed about that one person who said $7.50 an hour um, because they've also hired outside the US and they also applied almost 10 years ago at the time. And again, if you look at the salary ranges, they're closer to $30 an hour or $25 an hour or some of them even more than that. So again, when you look at salaries, I go off of what other people are saying that they made on average. That's how I'm coming up with these numbers. And this is from feedback from one of the biggest job review sites in the world. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. And I'll see you in the next video.